Hi everyone, this is Kartika from Biomedical Department. Today we are going to discuss about applications of radiation in medicine using extremely powerful ionizing radiation to treat cancer and other disorders. Densely ionizing particles such as neutrons, protons, mentions, alpha particles and heavy ions it have been employed more and more to treat cancer and other lesions in addition to X-ray and gamma rays. These high LED radiations have potential advantages over conventional X and gamma rays in, in that they have a greater dose capacity to, to damage tumors, particularly deep-seated ones and it can be applied more precisely to the lesion under treatment causing less injury to the surrounding tissue. Although still in the early stages, the findings of these radiation treatments for cancer are increasing. Also, we have uh, uh, we have treatments like uh, treatment with ultraviolet radiation when diagnosing some conditions such as uh, some kind of uh, disorders like uh, tumors and uh, some kind of uh, disorders uh, like fungal diseases, uh, skin illness and luminous materials. It can be found using ultraviolet radiation often known as Wood's light. It is also frequently used to treat uh, psoriasis in congestion with a radio sensitizing drug. This method, referred to as PUVA, PUA therapy, repeatedly exposes the skin surface to the ultraviolet light. And in phototherapy, jaundice is a condition that affects infants and it is marked by an increase in the blood concentration of the pigment bilirubin during the first few days of life. The affected infant is exposed to the visible light for 12 to 24 hours in order to treat the disease because the wavelengths of 420 to 480 nanometers that are absorbed in the skin speed up uh, detoxification and elimination of the pigment. In this we use some uh, uh, laser based therapies. The laser is being used more frequently in surgery as it has shown uh, to be a precise largely bloodless method of uh, uh, serving and destroying the tissue. It is possible to alter the amount of uh, laser light is absorbed by specific cells or cellular inclusions by tuning the laser to various wavelengths. The sun lesions uh, such birthmarks of the port wine stain form it can be eliminated or uh, it can be eliminated more or less selectively with little harm to the tissues around them by using laser based therapy. And we have uh, a laser light a light beam may pass through an uh, undamaged uh, cornea and lens without damaging them. The laser is also ideally suited for uh, treating lesions of the inner eye. Additionally, lesions inside blood arteries and in other places where a traditional surgical intervention is not easily accessible are treated with the lesions and optical fibers. During this operation, uh, we use uh, to implant a fiber optic probe into your vessel or uh, bodily cavity uh, for uh, laser based treatments. And uh, also we have uh, diathermy, deep seated inflammations and a variety of other conditions have long been treated using microwave radiation by warming inside body tissues. As an adjuvant to radiation therapy or chemotherapy, this method known as diathermy is also being investigated to, uh, uh, to cure the tumor or it is a way to cause hypothermia in tumor tissue. It is, uh, it is a painless and easy method is used to cure the cancer cells and cancer tissues. Thank you. Thank you all.